welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be about my updated face makeup, so foundation, concealer, powder and I threw in a bit of bronzer there, just for good measure. I wanted to make this video because my face products have changed and I do get a lot of questions in every single video that I do um, asking me what products I use, what foundation I've used, so hopefully this video will be helpful and my upcoming videos, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be using this as my face makeup throughout the whole summer, so if you're wondering in my next videos or my next next videos and um, what face makeup I've got on then it's basically this. So yeah let's get on with the video. I'm going to start by using my moisturiser and this is the Olay Beauty Fluid which I've been using for years and I always go on about. It's just a perfect moisturiser um, to apply just before foundation just because it sinks in really quickly and it's really moisturising without being greasy and I find that every time I use this moisturiser it just makes my um, foundation go on so much so much more nicer and yes yeah, so I just apply a light layer all over my face making sure it's nice and moisturised and I think moisturising is key to um, any makeup really So now that my moisturiser is all nice and synced in and my face is really nice and moisturised, I'm going to go ahead with my new foundation and this is the NARS She Glow Foundation and I have it in the colour Fiji. Um, I'm a MAC NC25 for reference in just in case you're similar colouring to me and you're trying to um, work out what colour you was in the NARS She Glow. I have it in Fiji and I'm going to use it with a beauty blender this is amazing, this is like my favourite way to apply foundation now and it just makes it so quick and easy and it always gives a flawless finish so I'm just going to shake that up like you should do with all foundations before you apply it and I'm going to put a bit onto my beauty blender so now using the beauty blender I'm just going to dab that all over the face and um, start blending away and I like to um, use dabbing motions just because that gives a nicer finish and I actually dampened the beauty blender sponge before I started um, doing my makeup I just ran it under the warm water and then rinsed it out with a towel and then make sure it was um, dry with a paper towel and it just gives such a nice glowy finish As you can see I haven't actually used a lot of product but it's actually already given me quite a flawless finish. I haven't done my forehead yet which I'm going to do now and then I'm going to put any um, more foundation on the places that I need it like my cheeks and my chin area because that's where I have the most acne scarring. Sorry if I keep looking at the um, screen, it's really distracting actually. <laughs> so I'm just going to take a little bit on my neck and blend it down just so it's nice and even and there's no um, foundation lines if I'm having a bad skin day, if I had lots of spots then this might not be the foundation that I would go for but um, I'm having an okay skin day today <laughs> an okay skin day, while my skin's like not playing up and it's I don't really have any spots, I have a few scars and and that's about it so once I keep dabbing just to finish it and perfect it so that's the foundation done this is what the foundation looks like without any concealer or powder or anything like nothing no bronzer no highlighter and as you can see it gives a really nice flawless finish but just because I have dark circles I'm going to go in with my concealer that I've been absolutely loving um, recently and it's the oops and it's the uh, Maybelline anti-age eraser eye concealer and I have it in the colour um, light so as you can see I have a little bit of under eye circles they're not too bad but I still want a really flawless finish I'm still gonna conceal them so I'm just gonna look down into the mirror and then put them right where the dark circles are so it's more in like a moon shape where the dark circles are instead of like everywhere underneath the eye um, and then using the beauty blender, I'm going to blend that in. 
So now that my dark circles are covered, my eyes are looking really nice and bright. Um, well, I think so anyways. And then I'm going to go in with my highlighter, which is the L'Oreal one. And I've been using this for years and years. And I just think it's one of the best inexpensive highlighters out there. So I'm just going to put a dot on my forehead like that. Um, a few dots down my nose to highlight. Um, chin area, upper lip and just around the nose. I'm not actually going to put it underneath my eyes because I think that the concealer did a really great job at brightening my eyes anyways. So I don't need the um, excess product on underneath my eyes. So then I'm just going to, again, use the Beauty Blender, one Beauty Blender does all, and just blend that into my skin again. And I'm not sure why guys, but every time I do these kind of foundation tutorials, my skin always looks super white on camera, even though in real life it's um, a little bit darker than what it appears on camera. I think it might be the natural lighting because I never use any artificial or special lighting, I just use natural lighting. So it always makes me appear um, quite bright. So once that is all blended in and um, finished, I like to set my foundation now. Um, it's important to set it, especially if you have oily skin like me, or else in a few hours time your makeup will just melt and then slip and slide everywhere. I'm using the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, again a very inexpensive but great product. Um, it was about £3.99 from Boots and I'm using it with a Real Techniques um, powder brush. And I'm just going to take some of that and start with my forehead. I'm not sure why but I always start with my forehead. Um, do you guys start somewhere else? But forehead, chin, um, the nose, and then I finish off with my cheeks. So once the foundation is all nice and set, um, that's about it. And that's my updated foundation routine, guys. And um, let me just zoom out. Um, I'm going to show you. Oops. I'm going to show you what I do next anyways just because since I'm at it I'm going to show you how I contour because I have a new contouring and bronzing powder as well so I'm going to show you how I use that as well. I've been using the um, Bobbi Brown bronzing powder and I have it in number one golden light which is the lightest shade and what I like about it is it's a matte finish and it's quite a light coloured bronzer and I'm a fan that bronzers are too dark for me especially when I'm this pale. Um, they tend to make me look muddy and dirty and that's certainly not what I want. So um, this Bobbi Brown powder is perfect and what I do is I find it with a Real Techniques. This is a blush brush but I actually use it for bronzer because I like the um, dome shape. I think it's really good for getting into the cheekbones. So I'm just going to take a little bit of my brush, tap it off and then apply it near the hollows of my cheeks just to um, help contour my face. I find that whenever you put foundation on and you put it all over it can make your skin look a little bit flat because you've just got one colour all the way throughout your face and obviously natural face colours have um, contours and definitions so I'm just going to put that back into my face with this bronzer. foundation routine and powder bronzer and whatnot basically my face based makeup thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed this video give it a big thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next video oh also if you have any video requests please leave them in the comments down below because i'm gonna do a few request videos this month so yeah i'll see you in my next video bye guys